High girls swimming and diving team is preparing for the WDA and state tournaments. Now the team has already qualified a number of swimmers for state, but will be hoping to challenge for a region title this weekend. David Gibson has more on the team as they make their stretch run. The Minot High girls swimming and diving team is winding down their season, and Coach Emily Jensen believes the team has done well all season long despite being young. We are really small, we're really young. Um, there's lots of growth and potential for the future, so that's nice to see. Pretty well this season. Um, we have a lot of new younger girls this season, so it's really going well, and they, we all have improved majorly over the season, and it's just fun to see us grow as a team and individually in all of our events. Coach Jensen believes senior leadership has helped the younger girls transition into her program. They've been just wonderful this year. They've really stepped up as leaders and um, been good examples just by their actions, been good examples in helping the younger kids and figuring out kind of the ropes of how things work. The Majets have 10 swimmers along with four divers that have qualified for the state meet. And Coach Jensen says they're working on a few things to get their athletes ready for that big meet. No, I think we just need to keep fine-tuning a few things. We'll work on some sprint stuff here in the next two weeks, and then we kind of rest their muscles that last week before state and get them ready to race hard on Friday. Senior Brooklyn Filler believes Bismarck Century is her biggest competitor for the state meet, but she's excited at the possibility of winning a state title. As a senior, that would... Yeah, that'd be amazing. I don't really, I don't know how to describe the feeling, but. David Gibson, Cake Sports. And Saturday's meet will take place at the Bismarck Aquatic and Wellness Center. Now